I really want you guys to share this video. Hello, I'm LRJ with Getting Life Right, and guess what? It starts with you. You read the title, you know what you're here for today. You remember when your child first started trying to lie to you? They'd be like, uh, and then the cookie, it walked over in my hand. So the cookie walked over into your hand. Uh-huh, yes. When I tell you this is how the serve people lie. No, what I'm asking is why is it that I cannot see the transaction? Why is it everything is saying store purchase? Mm -hmm. So, uh, regarding this concern, if you're calling about the transactions that is not showing the merchant's name, if it is still on pending, it will not really show the merchant's name on it. But I can guarantee you, sir, that if you will, uh, if the transaction will be already posted to the account, you can. It will also be the transactions merchant's name will also be posted to the account. But well, right, you're but talking about now, sir, that's not. That, I'm looking on here right now. And I don't see that. I'm looking online. I don't see where you guys are putting the. There are transactions that has not. That's not on hold. It's just showing mm -hmm. store purchase, store purchase, store purchase. Going back to November. Oh, I see. So let me try to double check if. Uh, transfer this call over to our uh, technical support team. Andrea, so I understood you're calling in because you don't see the merchant names, right? That's correct, um, and I'm just wondering, this has been going on because before this wasn't an issue for the last month and a half. It's been an issue where pretty much um, you cannot see the merchant's name on pending transactions or when they have been completed. Okay, so this is a glitch, and uh, we already have opened up a ticket for this, and this will be fixed in January. Okay. So, okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't understand what you were saying again. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Uh, you will be able to see the merchant names again in January. This is when we will implement the fix for this. So, so, so basically, if my if my card is compromised between now and January, I would not know who's doing what. Um, until. You can always give us a call. Yeah, you can always give us a call if you can take a look. Um, uh, sometimes we're actually able to see the merchant's name. Um, so like I said, just keep a tra keep track of it, uh, of your purchases, with receipts and all that. And give us a call if you do suspect fraud. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, thank you for calling. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. I took the position to actually keep the even numbers in my reserve and the odd numbers into the main account. And so whenever I'm going to make a transaction or a lowest transaction, for instance, if I'm going to go somewhere, like, like they claim it was Uber and Lyft, what I would do if the Uber is like $20, I would just put $60 in there, use that money that's in there, and then bring back okay the even number back down to the reserve account and keep the uneven number in the main account you get what I'm saying so when I look at my savings account I can know how much money is in there and as an investigator you know I always be the good cop oh, I understand please tell me more yeah, and then what happened was you you had a transaction to three weeks ago and the three weeks ago transaction it, it came today at the, and that's why that's why your money's missing. Now, let's play this beautiful lion footage. Uh, let's go. What I'm asking you is why did your company short my deposit, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't quite understand. You guys posted I had a deposit of to my account. Mm -hmm. What was available in my account was $10. Mm, all right, let me just check. So, that. I'm asking you again, why did your company short my, short my account? All right, um, as I can see here, uh, you're still on your account. No, so sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's in sure. my reserve account, sir. The deposit was for... I moved the dollars over to that account today. Just now. Mm -hmm. uh. So, once again, why did your company short my deposit? All right, so as I can see here, you've received your uh, dirt deposit, and then uh, there was a transfer from uh, your savings. It, it, there's a transfer made on the 26th uh, for...
So you did not authorize this transaction? Sir. Yes. I, I, I want you to understand what I'm saying before I make a call. My deposit was dollars. Mm -hmm. Do you see my account right now? How much how much available balance is in my account right now? Yeah, it's thirty dollars and sixty four cents. cents. So if I just transfer dollars from that main account, mm -hmm. you're trying to tell me, sir, that it was deposited into my account today? So there's a fifty dollar missing? Is that what you're saying? Sir. You guys know what you guys are doing. All right? You're still you you guys are supposed to have credited my account back for that a Mercedes you have not done that. Now you shorted my deposit. You're you literally just stole my money. Let me just check that here first, okay? Sir, it's pretty simple. You you can you can just see I just transferred it over, right? So if you deposit yes. plus what I had in my check, it should be in there. Did that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if I just move over to to my to my savings, why is only thirteen dollars left over? Because the, All right, the, I it was in there, sir. Sixty four. That was in there. Mm -hmm. I transferred over hundred. It should have been over thousand in my account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so how about the $55.60 uh, that is a store purchase? That you did not authorize this? I've been trying to pull some illegal stuff here now. No, that, that I paid for. I actually transferred money out of my savings uh -huh. to pay that bill. Mm -hmm. So All right. that had nothing to do with this. So now I got proof. All I need now, now I have proof of damages. Now, now I know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about now. So um, you were uh, using your website, right? Your uh, your serve dot com account. Sir, all I'm asking you is, can you please explain to me why you guys posted that it was deposited into my yes. account, but you guys mm -hmm. did not in my account? You're lied. I want to know why you because, guys why because because before him you had a negative uh, balance. A negative balance of what, sir? Um, you had a negative uh, balance. Before you made uh, the uh, a negative before balance, the deposit came. A negative balance, sir, of how much mm -hmm. and for what? Yes. Okay. Um, before the transaction, I'm fifty dollars. You have um, uh, before the three, uh, fifty-five dollars and sixty cents. You have nineteen uh, nineteen dollars and twenty-four cents in your account, and then you purchase fifty-five dollars and sixty. So actually, sir, uh, this is just uh, this is just no, uh, no, latency no, no. on the system. Sir. But sir, what no, I can no, no, suggest no. is that you just check your website no, after no, 24 no, no, hours no, and then sir, it should sir, be fixed, okay? Sir, sir, no. Uh-huh, sure. What you're saying to me don't make any sense, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're saying that when I paid AT&T $50.60, mm -hmm. that my account was negative. That don't make any sense because if it was ne if it was negative, it had, wouldn't have went through. Yes, I understand. I'm trying to figure out what happened to your account. Okay. I'm also looking uh, where the uh, the other money went. I'm trying to help you here. Okay. I understand that, sir, and I, I appreciate that. All right. Thank you so much. So, would it be okay if I put you on hold for? I just ask some help on why what's happening to your account. Would that be okay? That'd be no problem, sir. I appreciate that. All right, I'll just I'll just uh, check on my tools and what else we should I look for. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I know he didn't just hang up on me. Guess who else did it? Uh, let's go. You have a negative balance on your card before you receive your direct deposit here for. But let me go ahead and double check it. Okay, so the last time that you have uh, received your direct deposit, um, you have a negative balance on your card for $36.36. Because of the transaction that was uh, deducted into your account from Lyft. And also from other charges. Okay, hold on, let me go ahead and check.
Let's see for a second. Yes, all of the transaction that was marked on your account is coming from Let. Uh, last November 25th, uh, one for $24.02, $23.52, and another $24.02. So the time that they um, process the payment, the available balance that you have is not um, applicable for the amount that they are trying to access with your funds here. So you've gotten to negative balance. So the time that you receive your automatically, the negative balance in your account was deducted. And I'm so sorry for that information. But when I order Lyft, I move money from my, my um, savings to put into the account to cover the Lyft charges. And I, and I seen the pending charges or the holds for Lyft on my account. So those those could not be the ones that you're that you're referring to. That can't be the case. I understand, but what I'm I can't believe she hung up on me too. This all they do. Matter of fact, people, I have never received any of my money back. When I call them, what money, sir? Oh, you missing some money? Oh my God. This is the first time we're hearing about this. Sir, can you please hold on what click? <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is real. You guys have not seen my 27-minute video about the dispute process. I advise you to get some popcorn and watch it because it's pretty much, I mean, you will laugh. If you good at spotting liars and hearing lies, you will be on the floor laughing at how much they lie. Like, listen, listen, listen. I want to tell you right now that we ain't about. You know what I'm saying? We trying to rip your stuff, but I can't tell you. We trying to rip you off. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I'm just trying to tell you that I can't tell you that I'm trying to tell you, but I can't tell you. Click. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Guess who called me a on a Saturday mouth? Guess who? Guess who? American Express customer service. It's been processed, ma'am. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is the dispute that's been filed. It's been going on right now. That was quite disrespectful for you to call me a ma'am. So you call me a ma'am. Why would you call me I a ma'am? Yeah, because it sounded like one. Multiple times, it's always, oh, we have a system problem. Everything is down. One time, I was going to do a cash load. There was nowhere you could do a cash load because the entire thing was down. I didn't understand what you were saying now. What, what are you saying yeah. now? We don't have our system working as of this time. It's under, uh, it's, we are having system upgrade. So we cannot actually pull up your account to assist you for your account concern. So for any account concern related issues, you need to give us a call back. Question, why is it that when I try to call customer service, it does not give me an option to speak to a live person? Yeah, that is, I'm not really sure which is that is uh, through the automated system. We don't so have So, the automatic system you, is, so the automatic system is screening my calls? I, I, I advise you just press pound. <laughs> <laughs> to speak to a person. How do I be able to talk to a customer service? Try to just press on uh, the number sign. <laughs> <laughs> Service always lying, trying to take your deposits, trying to make you out to be a fool. Come on now, they always stealing, taking all your money, and taking forever to do a dispute. I'm just saying, yeah, you know I can't sing, but you get the point. Okay, now here's, hang on. I'm sorry, can I just put this call and hold oh. Hello? Please wait. Guess who hung up? So right now I can request for um, the dispute form since that you never receive it. No, I'll sir, make sure sir, that, sir, sir, yeah, uh, sir when did you guys send me the form? That's what I'm asking you guys. On what date was the form sent to me? Well, let me go ahead and double check for it. Well, it seems that there is no dispute form that's been sent to you. Okay, my money is tied up. Well, um, okay, I will be requesting for the dispute form to be sent to you as soon as possible, okay? 
When would I receive the dispute form, sir? Well, just to give you a heads up, it may take up to 24 to 48 hours, but we will make sure that you'll be receiving it as soon as, um, as quickly as we can. We don't have any updates from that, and we are not... What I'm saying is, I should have been received the form. So therefore, my dispute was never processed. That's why we, we will be requesting for that dispute form to be sent to you, so you can... So have that's what... No, I'm not, requ I'm not requesting it, because you should have been sent me the form. That form should have been sent to me before now. Your company yeah. did not send me the form to fill out to move forward with this. So therefore, your company has purposely refused to submit to me documentation for me to sign to move forward with the investigation. So when I ask you this question very simply, am I the one that's delaying this process of this investigation or is it American Express? It's American Express. Admitting my dispute, they purposely kept that dispute form from coming to me because they wanted to prolong the dispute process. They kept lying about sending me. I mean, it just let's watch the other video. It's, it's just a lot. I really want you guys to share this video. I know it may be asking a lot, but let everyone know whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can share it, share this video, even with your job.